This is a Fortis Nova Mundum production. Welcome to the game of life. Have you ever gazed upon the night sky, stars scattered across the vast expanse and questioned the nature of reality? What if our universe, with all its intricacies and wonders, is but a sophisticated illusion? This is not the plot of a science fiction film, but a question that has captivated philosophers and scientists for centuries, now gaining momentum with the rise of powerful technologies. This documentary, The Game of Life, embarks on a thrilling exploration of this very possibility, the idea that our reality might be a meticulously crafted computer simulation. We'll delve into the world of video games, exploring how these virtual environments have evolved to become increasingly immersive and lifelike. From the rudimentary graphics of early arcade games to the breathtaking landscapes of today's open world adventures, we'll witness firsthand how technology is closing the gap between simulation and reality. Our exploration into the simulation hypothesis begins not in the realm of science fiction, but within the hallowed halls of academia. The late Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom, a giant in the field of existential risk, laid the groundwork for modern discussions with his groundbreaking simulation argument. Bostrom's argument, published in 2003, relies not on mystical pronouncements, but on cold, hard logic and the staggering potential of future technology. To truly grasp the implications of the simulation hypothesis, we need to move beyond the abstract and delve into the mechanics of how such a simulation might operate. Rizwan Verk, a best-selling author, renowned MIT computer scientist and Silicon Valley video game designer, proposes a multi-layered model of reality, drawing inspiration from the nested simulations often found in video games. Imagine a game within a game, each layer operating under its own set of rules and parameters, yet interconnected with the layers above and below. The strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that governs the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic levels, has long puzzled scientists with its bizarre implications. Particles that exist in multiple states at once, entanglement where two particles remain connected even when separated by vast distances, and the observer effect all hint at a reality far stranger than we ever imagined. Those who have delved into the rabbit hole of the simulation hypothesis often point to unexplained phenomena, experiences that defy conventional scientific explanation as potential evidence for our simulated nature. Psychic abilities such as telepathy, clairvoyance, and precognition could be interpreted as leaks in the simulation, moments where the limitations of the code become apparent. S5. These anomalies, often dismissed as pseudoscience or the stuff of fringe theories, take on a new significance when viewed through the lens of a simulated reality. As we delve deeper into the simulation hypothesis, we must confront a fundamental question. If our reality is a simulation, what is the nature of the code that governs it? Is it akin to the binary language of our computers? A vast network of ones and zeros dictating every interaction? Or does it operate on principles beyond our current comprehension? Physicists, particularly those working in the realm of quantum mechanics, are beginning to uncover tantalizing hints that our universe might be built upon a foundation of information. Perhaps the most profound and unsettling implication of the simulation hypothesis is the possibility that our consciousness, the very essence of our being, is itself a product of the simulation. If our universe is a computer program, are we merely lines of code complex algorithms designed to mimic the experience of self-awareness. Neuroscientists have made significant strides in mapping the brain and understanding the biological processes that give rise to consciousness. A 
assuming for a moment that we are living in a simulation, a tantalizing question arises. Can we ever escape the confines of our digital prison? Could we somehow hack the code, find the back door to the operating system, and step outside the simulation into the real world, whatever that might be? Some proponents of the simulation hypothesis believe that certain unexplained phenomena, such as psychic abilities, near-death experiences, and mystical visions, might offer glimpses beyond the veil of the simulation. If our universe is indeed a simulation, who are the architects of this grand illusion? Who are the prime programmers, the masterminds behind the code that governs our existence? The simulation hypothesis offers no easy answers, but it invites us to speculate on the nature and motivations of these hypothetical beings. For centuries, stories of psychic phenomena have captivated and unsettled the human psyche. Tales of telepathy, where thoughts seem to leap between minds without the burden of words or clairvoyance, the uncanny ability to perceive events beyond the reach of our five senses, have often been relegated to the realm of superstition and folklore. But what if these seemingly impossible abilities are not supernatural, but rather glitches in the fabric of our simulated reality? Few human experiences are as profound and inexplicable as the phenomenon of near-death experiences, or NDEs. Those who have teetered on the precipice of death, only to return to the land of the living, often recount eerily similar stories. They describe a sensation of leaving their physical bodies, floating above the scene of their demise, traveling through a tunnel of light towards a realm of peace and serenity. Some report encounters with deceased loved ones, beings of light, or a sense of overwhelming love and acceptance. Across cultures and throughout history, stories abound of encounters with beings from other realms. From the mischievous fairies and sprites of Celtic folklore to the enigmatic entities reported in UFO sightings, these accounts tantalize our imaginations and challenge our understanding of the boundaries of reality. While many dismiss such stories as mere fantasy or misinterpretations of natural phenomena, the simulation hypothesis offers a compelling framework for their existence, interdimensional travel. Perhaps the most unsettling and profound implication of the simulation hypothesis lies in its challenge to our very sense of self. If our universe is a simulation and we are but digital constructs within it, what does it mean to be human? Do we possess free will or are our actions predetermined by the simulation's code? And what becomes of our hopes, dreams, and aspirations in a reality where the very concept of existence is called into question? The simulation hypothesis, with its mind-bending implications, inevitably forces us to confront a fundamental question. What does it mean to be human in a simulated reality? If our thoughts, emotions, and experiences are ultimately governed by lines of code, does it diminish the value of our existence? Or could it perhaps offer a new perspective on the human condition? This is a question we must all ponder as we consider the possibility of life in a digital realm. The simulation hypothesis, beyond its profound philosophical implications, also raises a host of ethical dilemmas. If our actions are ultimately governed by a set of programmed rules, does it absolve us of moral responsibility? And what are the ethical obligations, if any, of the hypothetical programmers who created and control our simulated existence? These are crucial questions that challenge our understanding of morality in what might be an artificial world. The simulation hypothesis, while intellectually stimulating, often leaves us grappling with a fundamental human need, the search for meaning. If our reality is but a simulation, meticulously crafted by unseen programmers, does it render our individual lives purposeless? Or could it, perhaps, offer a unique perspective on the meaning of life itself?
The simulation hypothesis, with its mind-bending possibilities, inevitably leads us to contemplate the great unknown. What lies beyond the confines of our simulated reality? If our universe is but a sophisticated computer program, what of the realm of the programmers, the architects of our digital existence? And could there be other simulations, perhaps even more complex and wondrous than our own? Our exploration of the simulation hypothesis takes a tangible turn as we shift our focus from abstract theories to the rapidly evolving world of technology. While the notion of a simulated universe might seem like the stuff of science fiction, advancements in virtual reality, VR, are blurring the lines between the digital and the real with astonishing speed, offering a glimpse into a future where the boundaries of reality become increasingly fluid. Early iterations of VR, once relegated to clunky headsets and pixelated graphics, have given way to immersive experiences that engage our senses with remarkable fidelity. While virtual reality focuses on replicating the sensory experience of reality, the field of artificial intelligence, or AI, grapples with a far more profound challenge, recreating the spark of consciousness within the digital realm. Could we one day create artificial minds capable of independent thought, emotions, and even self-awareness, blurring the line between human and machine in ways that were once unimaginable? Early AI systems, based on rule-based programming, could mimic human intelligence in limited domains, such as playing chess or solving mathematical equations. As we stand at the cusp of a technological revolution, with advancements in virtual reality, artificial intelligence, and computing power accelerating at an exponential pace, Futurists and technologists point towards a theoretical event horizon known as the singularity. This hypothetical moment in time, predicted to occur within this century or even sooner, marks the point at which technological progress becomes so rapid and profound that it surpasses human comprehension and control, leading to an unpredictable and potentially transformative shift in civilization. One of the key drivers of the singularity is the concept of recursive self-improvement where AI systems, having surpassed human intelligence, begin designing and creating even more powerful AI, leading to a runaway effect of accelerating intelligence. The simulation hypothesis, while rooted in speculation and philosophical inquiry, ultimately compels us to confront the extraordinary possibilities of the future. As technology continues to advance at an unprecedented pace, blurring the lines between the virtual and the real, we are entering uncharted territory, a realm where the very nature of reality itself is up for debate. Whether or not our universe is a simulation, the questions raised by this mind-bending concept have profound implications for our understanding of ourselves, our place in the cosmos, and the ethical choices we make as we navigate this rapidly evolving technological landscape. As our exploration of the simulation hypothesis draws to a close, we find ourselves standing at the precipice of a profound shift in perspective. The journey has taken us from the vast expanse of the cosmos to the intricate workings of the human mind, from the cutting edge of technological innovation to the ancient philosophical questions that have captivated humanity for millennia. We have delved into the realms of quantum physics and artificial intelligence, pondered the nature of consciousness and the meaning of existence, and confronted the unsettling yet exhilarating possibility that our reality might be far stranger than we ever imagined. In an age dominated by technology, where our lives are increasingly intertwined with the digital realm, the simulation hypothesis takes on a particular resonance. We spend countless hours immersed in virtual worlds, interacting with artificial entities and shaping our identities online. The lines between the physical and the digital, the real and the simulated, are becoming increasingly blurred, leading us to question the very nature of our own experiences.
The simulation hypothesis, while still firmly rooted in the realm of speculation, has the power to transform our understanding of ourselves and the universe around us. It challenges our assumptions, expands our horizons, and invites us to embrace a more expansive and awe-inspiring view of reality. Whether or not our universe is a simulation, the very act of contemplating this possibility can be a profoundly liberating and empowering experience.